Hey, what's up you guys? It is Bones Rodriguez. I'm sitting here with my son Pike and we are going through just a small box of comic books that I have here. And I have another box there. And one in Ticonderoga. And, and one big one in Ticonderoga, right? And we just started getting into them and started reading them and started looking up like how much they were or whatever. And he, this one right here, Spider-Man number 252, I was telling Pike that it, it's like my best and favorite business story. I'm in frame, I keep like, my arm isn't that long. I was just telling, what did I, what did I say was the story? I'll let you tell it. Walking to this candy store, you had like two dollars. And there was a stack of like these. Uh huh. They bought like three. Yeah. Then like that. sold them at the comic store mm. and then got like six. Yeah. Yeah, we uh the second that one came out it was the new Spider Man suit. This suit eventually becomes Venom for those of you who don't know. <laughs> and he got this Why did you say that spoiler? <laughs> because it's because it's thirty years ago. More. It's like forty years ago. <laughs> so he came from Secret Wars. And he found this little suit. He thought it was just a suit, but it was like a creature that responded to his brain. And this is what the first comic book that when he came back from Secret Wars, and it was like, oh my god, the Spider-Man 252. And it went up to five dollars like immediately. And everyone was like, wow, that's great. And my friend Jesse and I, we had like one copy each, but then walking home that day, we went stopped at this candy store and we found a rack. Um, on the magazine rack of them, and we were like, <gasps> and but between us, we had like two or three dollars, so we bought like we bought what we had. They were like sixty-five cents, right? Because the candy store owner didn't know, so we bought like two or three, and then took them over to the comic book shop and sold them for like five bucks. Then we went back to the candy store, spent that money, went back to the comic book store. We might have done that twice, but I ended up with like 10 that I kept. I've given out a bunch throughout the years. We found out later the comic book store owner had someone follow us to see where we were getting these inexpensive Spider-Man 252s. And it's like one of my favorite business stories. And this is before I knew anything about anything. We'd, it might have even been Jesse's idea. He was just like, let's go sell them. And I was like, great. What's the lesson? Buy low, sell high. Even better, borrow low, lend high. Woo! That whole story was for a huge tip for some of you, okay? All right, bye.